What is up, YouTube? This is your one and only Wild Rock, and today I'm going to be bringing you a Destiny video. A brand new one, in fact. And in today's Destiny video, I'm going to be talking about a certain sniper rifle that I know many of you have been wondering how to get and how to obtain. And that is the Icebreaker. No, I'm just kidding. That is the Touch... No, that is the Black Spindle. And I'm actually going to show you exactly step-by-step step on how to get this, okay? Now... First thing off the bat, because we're going to talk about this gun in particular, it's kind of going to be like a gun review, so to say, okay? And the reason that you don't see any of these perks um, maxed out is because my original one was maxed out. However, okay, the original one was 310. This one, as you see, is 300. And a lot of people are like, dude, you know, what happened to that other sniper rifle? Well, a little bit of story behind that um bungie never meant for that gun to be such high damage which now bear with me in my own opinion i believe after the bullshit that they have you do to get it i think they should have left it at 310 just saying but okay i tried this uh the very first week that it happened now now before i get into that whoever does not know how to obtain this Needs to get off of Destiny. No, I'm just kidding. Whoever uh, does not know how to obtain this, it's simple, okay? There is a certain daily uh, strike that you have to do. It only happens in the dailies. Um, to prove this uh, rumor of people saying on the IG and forums that, you know, you could do it in a, uh, an on the strike as long as it, it was 240, um, that is false. It has to be a daily. It is that certain mission in particular. Um... I cannot remember the mission in particular, actually, but it was the one. Oh man, it was the one where you had to put the um, the balls in the door. Okay, if if anyone knows what that one is, it's in Tanix's room. Okay, it kind of goes, it kind of wanders off from the main story. Instead of putting that third ball in that door, on the third door, you kind of go where Tanix would, you know, where he comes in, where, where Varix goes, you know, lift field distortion. And then you go up there, and then you go to those doors, and then it starts. When this starts, this whole process, it's kind of like a mini objective inside of Strike, okay? You have 10 minutes to do three rooms of cleaning. And by cleaning, I mean killing everything that moves, all right? You want to go in there with a strong-ass team, with strong-ass weapons, and you want to just wipe them out completely. Um, the rooms are as follows, just like you would in the Tannic Strike, okay? So you got your first room where he appears, teleports, you go down. Um, I call it the Wolf Spider robot, that's why I usually call it. Um, and then you have that room, which is room two, and then you have the main room, which is like Tannix's arena, so to say. But you won't be fighting Tannix on that uh, round three, on that room. You actually be fighting a fallen, or I'm sorry, a taken boss that will actually kind of look similar to him, which I'm sure many of you know his name. But, in the first room, okay, actually in every room, you're going to have nothing but Taken. You're going to have, you're going to have Cabals, you're going to have, I think, Thralls, you're going to have Knights. You're going to have a lot, of, and you're going to have a Captain at the end. Okay, best recommendation is if you do not have an exotic snor uh, sword or a certain sniper rifle or if you don't have your main class super maxed out such as you know if you're a warlock and you need to teleport to get out of danger i would definitely recommend that before even attempting this um another thing is is that you want to have powerful gear you don't want to come in there with rare gear but hey if it does the damage and has a defense for it then you know and if that's all you got, then I mean, you know, what's to lose? But you want to come in there with strong gear. You want to have the absolute, you know, top of the notch A game. And you want to make sure that your other two players are on that same, you know, same, on that same focus with you. Um, anyways, when you're doing this mission, the first room is really not that bad as long as you clear it out. We actually cleared it out in, I think, under a minute. And I think we had actually I'm I'm being I'm being cocky about a minute and five seconds or so. Um, second room where the wolf spider is what I like to call it. Um, that room is usually a pain in the ass for some people, and the main reason is is two things: wizards and snipers. People don't like fucking either of them, and if they did, join the Taken. Okay, but 
Seriously, though. The wizards are taken, and with the wizards, they're very unique because they actually spawn um, shadow thralls, what I like to call them, and they will continuously keep spawning them, which means that means more ads for you, which means that's wasting your damn time, you know? You don't want to sit there and dick around with these wizards, nor do you want to sit there and dick around with these sniper rifles, and there might be times where you have to because with these sniper vandals that you're going to be uh, um, in encountering in that room too, they're going to pop bubbles from time to time, like the ones you see from Titans, which is going to cause a couple seconds of delay. If that happens, don't freak out. If you really are in a rush, then I would suggest actually hopping up there with Blink or you know floating up there and levitating up there and trying to pick them off as soon as possible. Um, with my team, I actually ran my exotic arc sword and I actually flung my super move um, that kind of like had a bolt of electricity, like whirlwind, so to say, um, projectile, and I got him uh, before he could pop his bubble. So it saved us a lot of time doing that. Uh, for wizards, I would do the same thing swords, heavy shotguns. You know, if you've already done the raid already, I would suggest a uh, raid shotgun. And if you have a raid sniper rifle, that would be wonderful for this. Um, now, when you get into the room three, okay, uh, during your, your pathway to room three, you know how, like, he teleports from that little area from room two, and then he will actually keep teleporting until he goes down to his, like, arena area, so to say. You will be facing a captain right off of the bat, and he's going to be a taken captain, so you want to kind of, like, you know, have your shield up. During that whole time, you're going to be facing ads. When you go down to the area where it has two entrances and two exits, there's going to be two knights down there. You want to take them out as quickly as possible because with the taken knights, they kind of spit flames. Very unique now. Um, when you get down there, you want to absolutely draw attention to what we call the black balls which are the spawn points for the ads right um we my group that i ran with actually tried to get those quickly out as possible um during the time i was actually running only a two i think 96 or 95 thousand yard stare which in my honest opinion wasn't doing the job it needed to do that's why i kind of had to rely on my exotic arc sword um i figured i could still keep my distance while also doing my damage from far away which was very very helpful um we managed to do that very quickly and during the time uh we were swapping in and it wasn't just one person all three of us were swapping in and forth between ads and then focusing on that champion um taking champion um we kept repeating that process. We did have a few problems where a guy actually died a couple times, and that was actually okay. Um, if you were a warlock, I would highly suggest uh, Radiance. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Um, if you're running it with hunters, or if you are a hunter, I would definitely suggest the um, bubble. Um, you can't go wrong with the bubble. Uh, weapons of Light definitely would help. Definitely would help for this. Um, and as for a hunter, I would actually use the tether ability for your super, because not only can you tether that champion into place, you have more time to do as much damage, you know, before ads come in and keep spawning in. When that happens, okay, don't freak out. I know a lot of people always freak out when more and more ads come in, especially when the Taken Scions start to multiply and clone each other, people absolutely freak out. Now, we heard a rumor a long time ago that they said if you actually take out the Taken Cabals first, that they won't spawn in anymore. We actually debunked that too, because it doesn't matter if you kill them or not, they're still going to keep coming in. But one thing that everyone knows is that even if you defeat that champion on that room 3, you still have to clean up the entire room. You still have to kill all those ads that are in there. Luckily, we managed to kill the champion and we did a little bit of work, like I'd say maybe 45 seconds worth of work after that. And we had a minute and 30 seconds uh, to spare. And to be honest, that was my quickest time that I ever done it in. And that's how I managed to get the black spindle. I was like, holy crap. Not only that, <laughs> but, but the coincidental thing is that um, I actually ran it with... The first time I ran it, okay, I ran it with a, a group of friends that I knew, right? Well, they were kind of low level. They didn't know what to do. I tried, you know, take them step by step through it because I didn't want to bail on them. They gave up. Well, and that's, this was the first time we ever knew about it. And, you know, like it was the same day, too. Uh, second time, it actually just happened, I think, last week. 
And I was like, there's no way I'm going to miss out on this again. Well, you know, they were kind of like down in the dumps and they gave up. I didn't want to give up. So I actually went on the IGN forums and people were saying, hey, and, and, well, and this was before I knew that it was up on the dailies again. And I'm on the forums because I was actually looking for people to raid with, right? And I actually looked in there and the people were asking for, you know, Black Spindle, Black Spindle, need a team for Black Spindle. And I, me being, you know, ignorant, I was like, dude, it's over. I said, you guys can't do this anymore. I said that one week when it happened, like two or three weeks ago, I said, it's no more. And they're like, what are you talking about? They're like, it's up on the daily right now. And I'm like, you're shitting me. And they said, no, go check. And I was like, all right, because I didn't believe them. I get on there and... <laughs> I'll be damned. They were right. So I was like, well, if that's the case, I need two more people. <laughs> so we actually, I actually got a Titan and um, I actually got a, I think it was a, um, I think it was a Hunter too. So we had one of each and it was two random guys that I just met on this IGN forums, just completely random. I didn't know what they were carrying, what armor they had. Didn't know if it was a joke or a prank. I didn't know if they knew me from my channel. I didn't, you know, I had no idea who these guys were. And I'm like, oh my God, you know, cause like, I mean, come on, when you, when you risk something this good on randoms, you're just like, you know, you kind of feel like eh, this ain't gonna happen, you know? And you don't want to believe that either, right? Well, let me tell you something, okay? Do not underestimate people because I gave them a chance and I gave them a shot. You know, I wasn't going to be a dickhead and be like, okay, guys, well, I'll give up, you know, or, or look for somebody else because I believed in them. First thing I said to them right before we did it was if we fail the first time, we're going to stay in this together and make sure it gets done because we're coming out of here with three black spindles, you know, one for each of us. And they all, you know, agreed. They said, fine, we're going to stay in it until we get it. We didn't even have to run it a second time. We actually got that on the first try. I actually had one of the guys actually clapping at me and said, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And I, I'm not gonna lie, I was fucking speechless. I was like, holy crap. Not only did we beat it, but we had over a minute and 30 seconds to spare. I was like, holy shit. And right on the screen it pops up. So I was like, oh my God. Well, anyways, the original thing of this gun, okay, was 310. Well, because of Bungie finding out that this thing was not supposed to be that high in damage, which I don't get for doing all that work to get this exotic in the first place, which, by the way, if you use this gun on 310 in the raid, it does fucking work. But, as I said, Bungie didn't know that, you know, the damage was kind of escalated and buffed up. And, well, after hearing about, you know, the unbelievable damage that it could do, uh... They're nerfing it. They're actually nerfing it sometime in the wee days of October, which is recently October now. So we don't know. Um, I'm assuming it's going to be on a Tuesday. And people are like, oh, well, they're not going to nerf it. Well, they nerfed all year one guns. I remember the Gallarhorn still being a 365, and now it's a 170. So they're capable of doing this. It's just a matter of when. And we don't know. Um, now, a lot of people are giving me these questions, and I'll try to actually... Uh, get these questions out of the way as soon as possible. First question was, is what happens when you infuse a Black Spindle 310 with a Black Spindle 300? And that is, you will get a Black Spindle 308 permanently, even after the nerf. You will still get a Black Spindle that's 308. My dumbass decided to nerf the, uh, or I'm sorry, uh, infuse the Black Spindle 310 with a thousand yard stair, which made it a 300, and I went to go do it again Okay, well, first time I went to go do it with 300, and second time I went to go do it with a 310, and that buffed it up to a 308 thousand yard stair, okay? Um, they also wondered, you know, what happens after the uh, nerfing, you know, will your, okay, for example, will your thousand yard stair still be a 308? And that is, that is true, yes, it will be. Not only that, but if you have fusion rifles or any secondaries in particular that you want to nerf, or I'm sorry, if you want to buff up to about 300 or so before this, I would highly suggest it because they're not touching those guns. They're only nerfing the black spindle from what I've known. Um, the original damage this gun could do is 310. Uh, when you buy it again, it will be 300 for now, but after that nerf, it will be 290. So I hope that clears up everything for everybody. So yes. But I figured I'd let you guys in on a little info about this gun. To be honest, it's a damn good gun too. So I have to cut this video really short because I have a lot of things to do. So this has been Wild Rocker and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Beep.